Uh, hello everyone, my name is John and this is a informational video on how to fix a power supply module it just had some bad capacitors for the Panasonic S27C450D monitor. There's a lot of videos posted about how to take the monitor cover off, etc. So I'm not going to go through that, but I will go through what capacitors I replaced and what the results were. So there's there's what the power supply board looks like after you take it out and disconnect it from the main control board. And I'm going to replace just those five caps. Um, I found that it's probably not necessary to replace the 120 microfarad 450 volt cap or the 22 microfarad uh, 50 volt cap because they don't seem to be the problem. It's mostly the capacitors that are on the output side of the uh, circuit. Uh, one thing I did want to mention was you can see these caps don't look like they're blown or bulging but evidently over a period of time I believe their uh, series resistance kind of goes up and causes the capacitors to drift. Uh, the other thing I want to mention that seems to be lacking from some of their discussions and maybe a a point of confusion is on this particular monitor when this issue occurs with the power supply module you'll still get the blue LED on the front the blue LED you know, on the little power button will come on but you'll have a completely black unresponsive screen so that's kind of important um, I've seen a lot of different posts and if you do internet searches you'll get a lot of different results for that but the blue LED is definitely does come on on the front but the monitor is unresponsive. Now here's the circuit board with the two 470 microfarad capacitors removed. Those are rated 25 volts, 105 C. I don't know if that's kind of important uh, for the temperature. There's some caps that are rated 85 C. You probably don't want to do that. Now these two caps are on that 18 volt output that you can see those two rails and so you definitely need those to work whereas these others up here these uh, 1500 on 10 volts that's on the 5 point uh, 1 volt rail and those are probably the two sets of capacitors where the problems are and there's also the 330 microfarad cap that we'll replace yeah one other quick note to those of you that may not be real familiar with this you know, electric electrolytic capacitors are polarized you gotta make sure you get the negative on the right side and the positive on the right side. If you notice on the circuit board there, it is marked. You should be able to see that, uh, hopefully you can see that plus sign there, I hope. But anyway, the circuit board is marked. The only one you gotta worry about is the 22 microfarad uh, 50 volt, which I don't think you need to replace in most cases. That one's not marked, but uh, I don't think you have to worry about it anyway. But just make sure that you get the um, polarity correct otherwise uh, you may want to put your head underneath the table when you turn on the power okay so here's the circuit board with the two new 470 micro uh, sorry 470 microfarad caps in the lower right corner okay now we've taken out the two uh, 1500 microfarad caps in the upper left corner and getting ready to replace those so here's a board with the 1500 microfarad caps replaced with 1800 it's not um, perfect replacement but irregardless it seems to work just fine as you will see shortly next we're going to replace the 330 microfarad capacitor. There we have the power supply board with the five uh, caps uh, replaced. Uh, the last one being, the last one I did, being the 330 uh, microfarad cap, which is that one. And here's the back of the board. Uh, I'm going to clean it with alcohol before I install it. One thing I did notice on these boards uh, from Samsung is that the back has a lot of residue still left over from the cleaning process or perhaps from the lack 
of cleaning. Okay, here we are ready to put the power supply board back into the uh, monitor chassis now that we've replaced the uh, first five capacitors on our list. I'll go ahead and put this together, do a preliminary test, and I'll show what the end result is. Okay, this is what the inside of the monitor looks like as far as the main control board and the uh, power supply board looking on the uh, solder side of the boards, if you will. Uh, this could be helpful because I know when I was looking for this particular monitor, uh, I, was, I was definitely looking for these boards. I really didn't see much posted, which is another reason I'm posting this. Okay, so here, here's the back side of the, of the monitor. I've got plugged into the preliminary test. Probably the first good sign is you see that, which means that the, uh, the backlight is powering the uh, monitor, and uh, that's definitely a positive sign. You, you will not see that when the capacitors have gone south. Here's the, uh, get ready to just snap the back chassis on. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, there's about a buck fifty worth of capacitors. I may have mentioned that. I bought it at a local place here in Silicon Valley with the initials Anchor Electronics. Uh, folks that are super helpful. And again, you know, pretty nice monitor. Really enjoyed using this monitor and, and hated to junk it for the chance to fix it for a buck fifty. Okay, here's the monitor all buttoned up. Um, you know, again, one of the telltale signs that you'll get with these, this particular brand of monitor is that you'll get this little blue LED will come on, but the screen will be black now that we've uh, fixed the power supply. When you, get, when you turn this on, you'll get your blue LED, but then you're gonna see the, uh, the screen come on, and now it's looking for an input uh, signal. So I hope this has been some help to some of you that have this particular brand of monitor, which is a Samsung S27C450D, which is a LED monitor. Thanks, and uh, thanks for watching.